Trivia! Midget Guitar Films here, and I want to tell you a story. When uh, about 8th or 9th grade, I um, went trolling. No, not that trolling. Um, fishing. I went fish trolling. It's it's this this system of fishing where you go out on the boat and you go to very deep water. You take this rod, connect it on top of your boat to this big line, and you shoot it out behind your boat. And you just roll the line and drag the line with the hook. You drag the line on the hook with your boat until a fish bites it. When fish bites it, it'll be usually followed by a school. You're gonna have one guy, you know, with the main rod that was on the boat. You find the guy with the harness, he puts a harness on. He's fighting, he's fighting, he's fighting the, the, the fish. And the other guys on the other crew members are gonna be fighting the other fish that has followed the alpha male, right? So you're fight there's like four guys fighting. And yeah, it's a difficult process. Once you get the hang of it, it's um it's easy. As a Floridian, I um I don't I don't have much experience fishing. I grew up with a Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, that's trolling. When um when me and my cousin went on the trolling expedition, my cousin is like the Rambo. Of hunting, you know, he goes undercover, like military style, and he shoots ducks upside down while chewing on a on a on a on a toenail. I don't, I don't know. He's a Rambo upside down shooting toenail, shooting duck shooting guy. Okay, he's very good at hunting. So we got on his boat, right, and we're fishing, we're trolling, we're trolling, we're trolling, and he had, he brought along his two cousins, that are not my cousins, they're his cousins, with him. So, you know, he's he's teaching them how to troll, he's teaching them how to fish. We got you a couple fish, baby fish in the reef. But then we hit the hard water. Hit the hard water, right? Hit it hard. It's deep. I got my cousin, hey, bro. How deep is it here? It's about 20 feet. Thousand. He's like, it's about a couple hundred feet, 200 feet. So we're trolling, right? We throw out the line, we cast the line, we cast the line, you know, we're, we're following the line, you know, and all of a sudden, boom, we got a big one. He started fighting, start fighting, start fighting. I throw a lot, I throw a rod over my shoulder to like get out of the way because it was broken. My cousin just back slaps me in the psh. He's like, why'd you do that? I'm helping your cousin, who's a small guy. So we're fighting this fish, right? It comes with, it comes with a few, a few of its, its gang. You know, the fish that we're holding down to is the green mahi-mahi. It's uh, this big fish. It was very, very long, very muscular. It's a beauty to catch. It's a beauty to see in action. And if you get one just right, they grow huge. Like monstrous size. We're fighting this fish, you know. Fighting it. Comes with a bit of its gang, you know. It's called the, the West Side Crips of the Bikini Bottom, you know. It comes along and just like, hey man, look at this grub. It's swimming away, but I'm gonna go get it. And the guy's like, yeah, man, go get it. And then he's like, oh shit, it's stuck. <laughs> we start catching fish, you know, we take up two, two, and then they, they swim away. We got we lose a line. But whatever, it's fine. That's the life, that's the way nature is. So, do we stop there? No. We keep going. Always. Keep on keeping on. Keep calm and carry on. <laughs> So we're we're fishing and we we hit we hit another hundred feet. So we're at three hundred now. We're far out at sea, alone in the wilderness. We catch another one, big one, big big monstrous one. My cousin's cousin is like yo. We caught one. He's like ten years old and he's calling me yo. It's very awkward. I'm like yo man, we caught one. He's like okay. I'm putting it in neutral. So we start fighting it. You know. -na 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 -na. I catch one, I'm so happy, I'm like I'm like that, and then I'm celebrating, and my cousin's like, yo, throw another one in, throw another line, and you keep catching more, I'm like, okay man, don't worry, I'm a pro of this, yeah, I got it. So my cousin catches one, you know, he catches a bigger one than I'm than me, because he's better than me, he's the Rambo, who chews a toenail. He catches one, right, but my cousin's cousin 
10-year-old cousin's cousin who said, yo, he cat is a big one for his size. He cat is one for his size, pretty big. It's about up to his shoulder if he's 5'3". You know, he's wrestling. Ugh. Ah! Ah! Right? He's wrestling it. And for some reason, it slipped his mind that fish don't die once they are released from water. So he catches it, and the fish faints like it's 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 exhausted and it faints out of the water it's not it's not flapping around that's how this was flat it's not flapping around it's not flapping around i don't know why i'm like cuz is that weird he's like no man it's stunned it's the power of the spirit spirit of the wild the bear on the inside of your mind and consciousness and i'm like i don't even know what you just said you just gotta stop doing what you're doing and just ride the bus the boat he, we, he catches it and he brings it up. He's like, look guys, I caught a fish. Yeah. We're trying to wrestle the hook. All of a sudden, when fish get scared, they poop. Kaka. Help! Dark matter comes out of their bum bum. Under the sea. We then proceed to take the hook out. Sadly, the fish was dying because it was out of his natural habitat. There he is, holding the fish. Just looking at it, you see it in his eyes. The terror that is about to ensue upon the boat begins to flap crazily. He's still holding it, he's still holding it. He's like holding the tail as much as he can. The fish begins to spread blood everywhere. My cousin's cousin, who's 10 years old, begins to be a witness to a psycho Alfred Hitchcock Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie as blood splattered everywhere all over the boat, on his face, and on his shirt. He begins with his hands. You see him begin to he let a shriek. <laughs> and then, and then, he becomes a gut wrenching scream of terror. <laughs> and the fish is just there, flopping about like a crazy man taking his last breath. He's going down with a fight. Going down with a fight. And my cousin's cousin is just holding on to dear life. <laughs> Fish succumbs, sadly. And fish don't die easily. Thank you.